when you have followed my channel you will surely know that I was busy with mini AM transmitters and this is the one from Ali. I made an earlier video and I will give the link in the description. The transmitter sends out somewhere in the AM radio band going from say 600 kilohertz up to approximately 1.6 megahertz. The idea as far as I could see about the Ali circuit was that you had to use a, a battery. A 9 volt battery and of course we know a 9 volt battery is completely free of hum etc etc it's not like say uh, a main supply working on 110 volts or 230 volts with 60 hertz or 50 hertz and then we need say uh, a circuit to uh, remove the ripple rectify the AC to DC etc etc so um, my idea was to develop a simple power supply for this Ali circuit and this is the result this is the schematic it's very simple it's a classical one transistor hum suppressor and the, it's connected here to a wall transformer that wall transformer is here it delivers 500 milliampere at 12 volts but of course we need for that early circuit 9 volts and a current in the order of 100 milliampere I've measured that uh, earlier. It takes, say, a, a quite high current in a certain way, but anyway. Again, the circuit is very simple. One transistor here, uh, a Zener diode of 10.2 volts here, and here a diode. The diode, diode drops the voltage down to uh, 0 0.8 volt lower than uh, the output voltage here there's a drop down 0 0.8 volt inside the transistor and this uh, diode drops down it again has is no problem uh, you measure here exactly uh, 9 volts and important to tell I had to use this 10 nanofarad cap here is this one the green one because when I touch the wirings here I had say kind of noise or disturbances etc etc so uh, like they always say use small short and not small but use short wiring etc etc anyway you can also use somewhat longer wiring when you are able to uh, say press down uh, the eventually disturbing signals that are caused by long or longer wiring there's another video on my youtube channel about it anyway uh, this is the Ali AM transmitter I made here two possibilities a 9 volt battery via switch or here the main supply out of the mains that's what I mean um, two diodes here uh, they are there by purpose uh, to prevent for instance that when you switch in the battery um, it m must not be so that that uh, voltage or current can flow back to the regulator transistor so let's listen um, I had quite a few problems with the stability the noise etc from this Ali circuit but I don't want to bash it uh, I think it's quite good but you have to 
say be very careful with uh, giving it the right uh, amplitude level of amplitude modulation by this uh, potentiometer and also by this potentiometer it was not by the way this pot meter was not in the in the kit and I want to refer to the earlier video anyway and also here it's important he is at the you set the frequency etc etc well let's listen we are now listening somewhere in the AM band so here's the carrier wave when you tune it detune it somewhat you hear this but of course you must must look for the best carrier wave. Let's listen. quite big over modulation anyway there's a kind of problem here could have to do with my mp3 player over modulation of course always leads to distortion but you can align that here with that pop meter here Modulation and good modulation. And also here. And also here. Anyway, um, that was more or less all that I wanted to tell. Thanks for watching. There is some noise. There is a little bit noise in the signal, but anyway. Uh, Perhaps it has to do with the not proper trimming of the, uh, the AM coil here, the modulation depths, etc. etc. I don't want to focus too much on that, but I think that my power supply that I've made is a proper working circuit. Again, thanks for watching. We'll pan over somewhat. And like we know, this is made to, for instance, use old AM radios and via which you can play your MP3 files, etc. etc. That's the case here. I tried the dongle, it didn't want to work. I ordered it from Gadget Place, it did not want to work, it came with drivers, um, I couldn't use them, I searched on the World Wide Web for the right driver, I also couldn't find them, but anyway, perhaps in the future uh, it will be possible to connect to this AM transmitter a dongle via so that you can play music via Bluetooth at the moment 
that's not possible. And again, thanks for watching.